What's going on guys? I got an exciting unboxing for you guys today. I actually tried to record this yesterday and for whatever reason everybody wanted to show up early in the shop and so I was kind of distracted. I didn't really love the unboxing. So we're going to do it again today and actually it's good for you guys because I know a little bit more about the product now and I'm going to be able to explain it for you guys better. But we have a cordless blow dryer guys. I've been waiting to get my hands on one of these and I'll tell you the story real quick before we get into the box. But guys basically when you do YouTube like I do and you have a channel that does reviews and unboxings, you know you get people that reach out to you that want you to try their product. So I get probably once a week an email from somebody, sometimes it's through Amazon, sometimes it's elsewhere. Most of the time it's a bunch of junk. I see this email, I read it kind of quick and I'm like eh, I don't really know and I click the link and it is a cordless blow dryer. So guys, not much on the box. The brand is called Lilux. Why? Not why. L L Y L U X Lilux. But nothing on the box, guys. Just the blow dryer on the front, cordless hair dryer on the sides. Basically, no information on the box, and I did already take it out. So I'm just gonna show you guys the blow dryer. Nothing else in the box that's important. Oh, but guys, this is it. This is the Lilux cordless blow dryer. I've been using it. I used it yesterday for about a half a day. So nozzles magnetic come on and off this is the only nozzle that it comes with guys so that is one kind of downfall i was a little bumming to see that this is all that it had but the good news is the dyson attachments will fit it as well now guys the magnet's pretty weak so i could see if i was doing some diffusing and you guys see it didn't take a whole lot to knock it off of there so unfortunately that is probably one of my first negatives about this i hate to go straight into the negatives but the magnet here is not very strong and so the you know, the attachment will stay, but I could probably shake it and knock it off, but eh, I guess I couldn't. Anyway guys, Dyson attachments do fit. There's one, there's your regular nozzle. So if you guys have a Dyson, obviously if you have a Dyson, you don't wanna buy another expensive blow dryer, but if you did have the Dyson attachments, they do fit. And guys, it is just a cordless air dryer. It's pretty cool. So you're gonna have two switches here on the front. Basically guys, this is your air speed. So I can start at the bottom. That is on low speed, medium speed, high speed. So I'll leave it on high. And then this is gonna be off, cold, or hot. So I can turn it all the way up. Woo. Guys, honestly, I used it yesterday for about a half a day. It is not as powerful as the Dyson, but super cool. Cordless, guys, obviously, I don't know if you guys have paid attention on my videos, but I get to style it in my chair. Then I come over here, and I have to switch to my left hand, and it just doesn't work very well because the cord doesn't reach long enough. But guys, so anyway, this is cordless, and it's super cool. It is also only like 170 bucks on Amazon, so I'm actually super impressed with this, guys. It does have a big base, but that is all that comes with it, the one nozzle a little carrying bag and the base. So kind of one of the negatives, like I said, guys, you don't have a diffuser. I'm not sure if you could get a universal diffuser to fit this, but the Dyson diffuser does fit. But guys, for a cordless blow dryer, I gotta be honest, I was shocked when I saw the price and it's only 170, 179, something like that. Don't quote me on that, but I'll link it in the description if you wanna check it out. I know I've been waiting to see a cordless blow dryer for quite a while and uh, super cool to finally find one. All right, guys, so I'm gonna include some clips styling with this blow dryer. I might use some of the other nozzles that I have. This one is not the best. But we will style some hair with it, let you guys see how this thing works. And if you want to check it out, click the link in the description and head over to Amazon and you guys can pick up the Lilux cordless blow dryer. All right, guys, so it is time for my final thoughts on the Lilux blow dryer. And I know I only got that one clip, guys, but you will know why here in a second. All right, guys, so let's start with the positives first. Obviously, it's super cool, guys. The cordless blow dryer is super cool. First one I've ever seen. I took it to a show in Jacksonville. You guys might have seen a couple clips in that vlog of me using this, and people were just tripping. They thought the cordless blow dryer was super cool. Nobody's ever seen it. It's also super cool in the shop. A lot of people haven't seen anything like it, like I said. So super impressed with the cordless aspect of the blow dryer. Another positive, guys, it's actually super powerful for being cordless. You guys know I have a Dyson on my station, and it is obviously a beast. Any of you guys who have used a Dyson know it's super powerful. 
powerful. So I didn't really expect this to keep up with the Dyson being that it is cordless, but guys, it's actually pretty powerful. And that's gonna take me right into the negative. Guys, this thing is powerful, but unfortunately at best, it only has a low warm setting. So I went back and looked at the Amazon page, guys, and it does have a low warm setting and a cool setting. So there is no high heat setting. And I don't know about you guys, but I like to use the high heat on my Dyson at times. The low warm is cool, but it's not cool, it's low warm. But the low warm is okay sometimes, but really I like to have that high heat. So that's one negative, guys. This does not have a high heat, it only has a low warm. And with that being said, guys, the reason I only have one clip is I also learned something else, guys. The battery life is gonna give you 12 minutes of runtime with this cordless blow dryer. But unfortunately, you're gonna lose that low warm setting after 20% of the battery is gone. So once we got to 80%, guys, actually in Jacksonville, I was blow drying, hitting that pompadour, Low warm setting, it was slowly but surely getting the style in place. And before I could get finished, guys, I lost all heat and all I was left with was the cool setting. So with that being said, guys, I don't know about you guys, maybe some of you who know a little bit more about blow drying and styling might have an answer, but for me, guys, I can hardly get one style done with this thing before I run out of heat and the low warm setting is not really enough heat anyways. So honestly, guys, not a great review. If you guys know where we can use this and how it can really make sense, please leave it in the comment section down below. But for me, guys, I found myself really just running out of the heat. It wasn't getting the style done as fast as I wanted it to. So I guess I'd say I hope that we see some upgrades in the future, guys. One thing I will say, I understand that to pack that much heat, that much power into a battery has gotta be super difficult. So I do understand that you can't really run super high heat. This thing would last like a minute and a half and we would still have the same problems. So this is probably somewhat of the best balance that they could put out in a cordless blow dryer. But unfortunately, guys, it's not really gonna get the job done for me, especially when I have a Dyson on my station. So with that being said, guys, if anybody does wanna check it out, I am gonna link it in the description. Guys, honestly, and this is gonna sound silly, but it's killer at blowing hair off of people. We all like to blow all our hair forward into the middle of the shop and somebody runs by with a big broom. So I can kind of walk a little distance and use this to clean up in the shop. And that is super cool. I know that sounds silly, but you know what? Most barbers, that's all we use it for anyways. But anyway, check out the description if you wanna check it out. If you guys like the video, do me a favor and hit that thumbs up. Guys, you have no idea how much it helps the channel grow. Make sure you guys are subscribed. I got a couple more unboxings that I'm about to work on after this. I appreciate you guys watching as always, and I'll catch you next time.